Hello, my name is Bentham, and today I'm going to show you how to update Factorio. You may have seen or heard about a new version being released, but don't seem to be able to get it. The most likely reason for this is because of how the Factorio development cycle works. When a major new update is released, it is considered in the experimental phase. Over the next few months, weekly updates are made to it mostly consisting of bug fixes. Once the developers are happy with the state of the update, they will declare it stable. While the latest update is experimental, the most recent stable build will be the default, unless you specify otherwise. As an example, at the time of recording, the new 0.13 update has just been released, while the stable build is 0.12.35. There are three different ways to switch to the newer experimental versions. Through Steam, in-game, and on the website. Before we go through them, be warned that as these versions are less stable, you may want to make backups of your saves before you update. Firstly, we'll look at Steam. Switching to the experimental branch here is simple. First, you need to right-click on Factorio in your Steam library and go to Properties. In the Betas tab, click on the drop-down menu and choose the Experimental option. And that's it. Any experimental updates will be automatically downloaded in the same way stable ones are. You can pick some specific versions of the game as well from here. Next, in-game. This is for versions of Factorio downloaded from their website. From the main menu, go to Options and then Other, and check the box for Enable Experimental Updates. If you also enable checking for updates on launch, you'll be prompted about any new versions when you start up the game. Alternatively, if you go back to the main menu and choose About, you can manually check for updates. You can also view the changelog here and see what version of Factorio you are currently running. Finally, the website. Make sure you are logged in and click the download button on the main page. It will take you to the downloading page for the stable updates. Click the Experimental Release button for more recent versions. If no Experimental Release button is present, it means that the stable version is the most recent update, and that the next major update is likely still in development. From here you can download either the installer or the zip package. You may want to use the zip package and keep separate copies of the experimental and stable versions in case of problematic bugs. Hopefully this has solved your problem and you can now enjoy the new update. Just bear in mind that the experimental builds are more buggy, so make sure to keep backup saves. If you spot a bug, you can help with the development of the game by visiting the bug reporting forum. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments, and you can find links in the description to some of my other Factorio tutorials and update overviews. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.